tried to do was we saw that after the war, there had been an almost deliberate erasure okay. of a lot of the, what you would call, things that trick on national memory. Okay. You know, buildings, roads, documents, pictures, monuments. Okay. So we knew that this election was pivotal. It's important. It would be a momentous one. Right. And we wanted to capture it. So a friend and I, Jay Richardson, just simply bought a camera. We knew nothing about making a movie, but we knew we had to capture it. Okay. And we did the shooting of the footage, mm -hmm. and we turned it over to Conan here, Conan. who is the <laughs> film man, and he did what he had to do to get the film to where it is. Okay, Conan, so you get the film. What do you do with it? Look at all these hours of footage and scratch my head. Okay. That's what I did. <laughs> That's what I did. The one thing I want to know is how did the story develop? Yes, I know you're putting all of the film together and you want to capture this very special election process. How do you make it into a story? What is the storyline that you see behind it? Well, for me, the storyline had to come not from my thoughts, okay. but from what the footage dictated. Okay. Okay. So I had to watch it many times. Mm -hmm and continuous viewing and listening to the dialogue mm -hmm. that people were having over the course of the e election process. Okay. And from there came the most important themes and, and the story told itself. Okay. This is a story that is as purely as can be what the Liberians had to say about the electoral process. Okay. We, we were careful about who would be the quote hero because there's no Westerners like to build everything around one person. And we didn't want to create any kind of mythical figure okay. that would later on be disappointing. And we want to give the Liberian people the credit for what they did, mm -hmm. which was after 40 years of bloody war, they came together, held an election in which my son always reminded me, one person, I always said no one was killed. He said one person, one person was killed after 250,000 had been butchered. The, the war in factions, everybody came together, held a peaceful, democratic election. That's an achievement, and it's credit to the Liberian people. You know, as you look around the other African countries and you, have see, you only see one female president, what is your thought process on that movement? Do you think there's a reason why there are not any other female presidents around in Africa? I, I don't know why there has not been one sooner than this time okay. because it's very clear to me from my personal upgrowing experience and my Liberian experience that women do play a pivotal important and recognized role right. have always done so mm -hmm. so the, the fact that this had not happened in several other uh, 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 countries on the continent is, is a surprise to me as well. But the fact that it did happen is not, is not so much so. It had to happen in Liberia first. Okay. The reason is women in Liberia have always been treated very differently from the way women are treated in other African countries. And it's a point that has to be recognized. Women, not all of them, not a majority of them, but a good number of them have been leaders at the national, at the council level, mm -hmm. and not just recent history. But one of the great heroines in Liberia is Madame Swakopo, yeah. who was a warrior, mm -hmm. right. and yeah. built a whole county. Yeah. So it had to happen in Liberia yeah. first because of the dynamics between men and women. I could go into further detail, but oh, I'll leave it just there. Definitely, I'm definitely. I'm not surprised that it happened in Liberia. <laughs> oh, I can completely understand. We just yeah. had a female Nobel Prize winner from Li okay. Liberia for yeah. all of the... Two. Two, exactly. Two, two. two, that one. So it's no surprise, yeah. right? But the be the thing is, why no yeah. other women? But, well, we you know, right. but right. you will lead the way. The people of Liberia we'll will lead the way. Lead the way. Yeah. Even though it, if we don't get credit for it. Right. But we've always led the way there. That's why it's the Lone Star. Okay. That's why it was the first independent African country. Right. That's why it led Don't the... Get we have Liberian <laughs> pride and African pride, and we can see it, and I'm sure it will come through in the film. You know that in 1960, uh -huh. the first African country to contribute troops to the Congo yes. was Liberia. You know that? 
A small, very small country with hardly any money. Right. But that's mm -hmm. the kind of nationalism Pride. that we have. Yeah. Yeah. 